the drive shop. Uh, I don't know if I showed everything when I did the last time, so I'm kind of going to go through it step by step. Uh, this drive shaft has to get shortened like three quarter of an inch, but so I'll kind of show what I do, especially this. I usually run the zip cut right on the weld, and then I can bash the end off. And then I'll cut my three quarter inch out, and uh, yeah, smash it back together. I'll do it all on the vehicle, so for a guy who doesn't have a lathe, how to spin it and square it up. Um, I'll have to get a huge job for that because, well, this dry chef doesn't have one and I don't have a good one sitting in my stock pile, so I'm just going to get right at her, cut the top. cut through it you want to go just past the weld uh, otherwise you're going to get into the meat of the yoke there see you can see I kind of went in a little bit but usually I clean this up a little bit anyways when I pound it back in Like it was really pressed into this one, anyways. I'll probably take a bit of meat off of there. So then now I just cut off my three quarter of an inch, and then I'm going to stab this back on. But I can't do that till. Uh, well, I can do it, but I won't be able to square it till I get a U joint, so I can get it on the truck and actually spin the whole works. Uh, now this I usually just cut on a bandsaw. I guess you could take a piece of tape and do it. It's not too important you got enough meat on here that even if you're off you can fix it. Uh, I usually like cutting this side but that's only because I do it on the lathe. I guess technically if you do it on the vehicle it doesn't matter what side you're doing you can bolt it all together. Alright, well now I'm just gonna cut this. I'm gonna use my bands off work because it'll be a straight cut. That's work for me. Okay, now I'm going to clean this up. I gotta clean this edge so I have something to weld on to. I'm also gonna clean up the inside here and the outside. I don't think these line up very good, yeah. Like this is gonna need quite the abusive beating to get in there yet. Not sure why that is, but I guess that is with this particular dry shot.
Okay, that was the tricky part. Get these to line up. Um, usually I do this on the floor. I'll see if I can do this on here. I usually face my yokes down so they stay phased right. So that way when I'm mashing her in. Oh, this is a brutal. I'm going to set this up. I'm going to have to redo this on the floor here just so you can see better what the hell's going on. <clears throat> this one doesn't exactly line up great. I kind of get them phased. And then I'll make a mark on it. So I can take it off line. But you're going to have to smash her down pretty good to get her in place. Particular style. tap around to get this in. See him sort of in. Okay. You can see we beat her in. There's plenty of room to weld. There's lots of room for adjustability yet. Uh, I'm going to go cut the cup. I got 52 and 3 quarter, which is what I need on the truck. Uh, now I'm going to get my U joint and then I'm going to set this up so I can align it on the, on the truck. So I now got my new U joint, so I'm going to put that in. You folks can watch me struggle getting this one out. Device just to beat the snot out of these things, but <clears throat> I tend to use a ball joint tool. itself, but it's all 
good. with the new Should I be using it in there? Probably not. Will I? Yes. Now. See how happy my clips are going. Probably not very. You're up. Okay. Well, next step is to get it under the truck. Get it bolted in and strapped up. All right. Now you can see as we're spinning it, we're out a lot. Something's a little wonky here. You see, it's got a, a low spot. So you can see we're almost like a hundred towel out. So, I usually start at the uh, highest point. This has got to come out. So normally now you'll just give it a little <coughs> tap. Try to meet her in the middle there. You're never really going to get this 100%. But we're getting closer, you can see already. So, I'll try to get halfway to this point again. I don't like to hit on it. I don't like to hit on it while the, my mic, my dial indicator is on it. So, like I say, she's always going to be a bumpy ride because whatever is going on with the drive shaft. <clears throat> now we're getting pretty minor taps here. Especially if you get weird jumpy spikes, it could be just anything in the drive line. Could be rusty stuff or a little ding in there. So, see that's low. So 
see what happened there. Probably because it's not lined up straight, there's just a hair off. So we're about like 10 tile out, which is going to be nothing. Honestly, it's probably straighter than the stock drive shaft. You can keep pushing to be straighter, but <clears throat> if I'm within 10 thou, I'm pretty happy with it. Like I say, you got play in the yoke, so it's always going to have something. Like whereas when I do it on the lathe, it doesn't have that play. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Now I'll take the welder. I'll do four tacks. So doesn't uh, like opposite heats if that sounds right I don't know I just go four corners opposite of each other then I take it off and I weld it fully on the bench and uh, that's pretty much it then I guys good to go so I'm gonna get I'm gonna zap those right away and then uh, pull it off weld it on the bench call her a date so anyways there you go, all welded in, good to go. Thanks for watching.